for the older population, it can get a little different because uh, they may be experiencing multiple losses in a short period of time. Uh, they may have had a spouse die, yet uh, six months down the road a sibling dies, and then maybe a neighbor or a friend dies. So their grief becomes maybe a little more intense and might uh, be stretched out over a longer period of time because of the multiple losses. And, and I would imagine that there's grieving as well, um, maybe with the loss of uh, uh, their functioning or, or activities or driving, and can, that, can mm -hmm. that provoke the same type of grief? Sometimes people don't realize that they're already grieving. Um, you know, you're faced with your own mortality every day, and as we age, um, sometimes we don't have as much strength and stamina, and people are feeling a loss of beauty and they're um, experiencing um, problems maybe completing some roles that they used to carry out in their family. Now, are, are there stages of grief? Process there are, there expect? are different stages of grief and, and most, most of the stages that you really hear about are um, people being able to accept the death, um, being able to express their feelings and thoughts about it, uh, being able to um, find um, activities and things that they enjoy again. So there are different stages that people move through in grief, but people don't follow those stages in an exact pattern. Everybody grieves differently, and it takes people a different amount of time to go through the stages.